Innovation is the initiation of consumer interest or inquiry into products or, uh, or services of a business. So these leads um, will be uh, used for list building, e-newsletter, list acquisition, or for sales leads. So most of the companies, big companies that are using this are yung mga departments nila, which is yung marketing and sales department nila. Or if it's a small company or startup, um, this is used by the business owner. So, yeah. All right. So, next. Okay. So, other lead generation terms. So, if you're looking for a lead generation job, um, other terms na makikita nyo sa mga job uh, portals, freelance job portals, lead mining, data gathering, client research, prospect research. So, if you want to enter this uh, this role, yun yung mga keywords when you're searching for a job ang gagamitin nyo. Lead mining, data gathering, client research, prospect research. Okay, so I'll move now to the next. Okay, alright, so lead generation tools. Um, before you start your lead generation, you must know the target. So, the target will be discussed between you and and your client. It depends on the type of business or industry he is in. Okay? And then, um, so before you start, kailangan nyo talaga ng target. And then, you need a browser. And then, in the browser, you need a search engine. And, of course, ang ating best friend I see Google. And then networking site, LinkedIn is very important. Para sa akin, I prefer LinkedIn, but if you know other networking site, you can use that if that is useful for your for your um, for your task. And then kailangan yun rin na email finder tool, which I will you know list down later on. So email finder tool and then email verification tool. And then you need a database. It depends on what the client is using. Either a spreadsheet, kung nags start pa lang siya and he's on a small budget, you can put all the, 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 the data or the data on the spreadsheet. Or if they already have a software or a CRM, you have to enter, you, um, you will be using that as their database. Okay. Okay, naka mag next. Hello, Maya. I okay. have a question. Regarding the email finder tool, sa kanino ano yan, sa client ba yan? Okay. Now, this one will depend on the client as well. Um, the email finder tool, there are free email finder tools on the internet. One is the one that is my favorite is hunter.io which we will, you know, explore later on. So, Hunter.io. Um, there is another one which is Rocket Reach. You have to discuss it with your client if he is willing to pay for the upgrade of the email finder tool. Yung Boolean search is um, more on code show when you search through Google. So, Boolean is B O uh, B O O L E A N. And then email verification tool, um, there is free and there's also paid ones. And then in you know, database or spreadsheet. So with the database, I'm um, very popular is of course spreadsheet, either um, Excel, Excel file, or um, you use the Google spreadsheet kapag sinishare siya clients sa inyo. So some clients are using Google spreadsheets for you to work on. Um, and then, or CRM. So, my question pa on this part. Okay. So, let's proceed to the next. So, huwag kayo mahiya. This one is an interactive training or workshop pa. So, huwag kayo mahiya magtanong. Um, Alright. So, I'll just play this one. I think it's easier if I do it like this. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Alright. Yes. So, most job descriptions will be like this. 
So you will work in support of the business development as what I've mentioned earlier. So business development or sales or marketing teams. Sila yung usually gagamit ng mga mga leads or or um, mga na research nyo. So this will give you an idea kung sino yung magiging target clients nyo. If if you are finding it hard to get a job or approve sa Upwork or other job platforms, um, here's a tip. Since you want to be a lead generation specialist or researcher, say some client, you can contact or you can reach out to people, which is kailangan nga may LinkedIn kayo, na merong business development or marketing uh, manager in a role sa LinkedIn, you can reach out to them and offer this service to them. So this one, I'm giving you an idea, the best people to reach out to when you are applying for a lead generation role are the business development managers or directors or the marketing directors. Yon. So that's just an idea because it will help them in their roles as well. Paano sila, you know, uh, paano sila makakuha ng additional clients for their business. Okay, so you in, in this in this role you will be tasked with sales support, data collection, researching prospective clients in order to provide new and validate existing information of the client CRM database. So like um, na mention ko kanina, it's not necessarily CRM na software, pwede rin naman na ang database in as a spreadsheet lang. So, ano ba yung responsibilities na isang lead generation specialist or researcher? So, you will be utilizing available assets. So, yeah, nandiyan na limited to, you know, but uh, to include but not limited to the internet, social media, LinkedIn, um, to research additional information on markets, business sectors, and target opportunities to enable us, or to, yung us, yun yung client, okay? To enable the client to be in pole position for tendering for future opportunities. And then another responsibility is you have to find out information about the prospective client. Prospective client because either they are starting their business or they are planning to expand their business. So they need new clients. So, source the names of key decision makers, clarify and confirm addresses, contact email. Now, for this role, may nakalagay na by phone. Um, and then I mentioned that this role can be purely research. Now, you have to make sure na yung responsibilities niya is walang phone. Walang phone kung ayaw niya mag-calls. Meron namang iba na 30% my calls just to... Um, to confirm the, in, the the information na nagagawa nyo sa internet. So, it's just for validation or confirmation. Um, hindi naman siya sales. So, meron iba na tumatanggap na lead generation role na may counting calls, like 30% may calls. So, it's up to you if you want to accept that type of job. Ngayon, kung talagang hindi fit sa environment nyo ang magtawag dahil meron kayong mga tumitilaok na manok sa... <laughs> <laughs> sa, or kumakahol na asa sa background nyo, then um, I suggest na you you search for a role na talagang uh, non-voice. Yan. And then, yun. So, confirm the accuracy of the, the of the data that they have on file. So, so with regards to confirmation, you will have to do research on that. Yung katulad ng sinasabi ko na um, you have to use email verification tools so you can confirm if you cannot call. Okay, so pay rates ng isang lead generation specialist. This is if you are only offering lead generation, okay? You wala kay ibang skills na ino offer or services na ino offer sa client. Okay, so for let's just use US dollars, no? Um, since yun ang popular na ginagamit na currency. Um, so, it's $3 per hour if you have less than one year experience. And then, if you have more than one year experience, so two years experience, you can ask for $4 to $4.50 per hour. 
or five dollars to seven dollars plus plus if you have more than three years experience and uh, pwede rin, it depends on you kasi since ang pagiging VA is not is not being an employee of a of a company you know or, or a client you are um you're running your own business here so nasa sa inyo yon how much you would want to charge the client so meron din tayong project rate so this one will depend on the number of leads required or the complexity of the requirements ng client so let's say kaya niyo tanggapin ng $100 per week for 100 leads na gusto ng client and then you the, you and the client agreed on that rate so flexi may flexibility yan basta at the end of the week meron kayong na produce na 100 verified leads so pwede niyo i-charge $100, $150 or $200 it really depends on you Yon. So, the complexity of the requirement, bago kayo tumanggap na isang project, tignan nyo muna, mag-test muna kaya na one to three searches kung kung gaano kahirap hanapin yung, yung pinapahanap na information. And then, that's the time you uh, provide a quote sa client. And pwede rin naman kayo mag-charge per lead na na-generate nyo. This one, I came across a candidate when I was looking for a lead generation um, specialist. I came across a candidate na 30 cents per lead ang binabayad sa kanya ng client. So, research siyang siya ng research kapag may nabigay siyang um, uh, lead co with complete information, uh, 30, yun nga, 30 cents ang binabayad sa kanya. Um, meron kayong question sa part na to? Do you, um, I do have a question right now in regards to this. Pwede naman siguro natin sabihin like, um, bigyan natin sa fixed monthly rate, if that would work out fine. Monthly rate. Okay, suggestion ka lang sa monthly rate. It also depends sa client's requirements. Kasi sometimes the client would just want 50 leads. So, paano mo, diba? Sometimes 50 is, uh, one month is too long for 50 leads. So, it's re that's why I mentioned it's a discussion for you to have with the client. Ako naman, kasi mostly when I, when I speak to a client, no, when I engage with a client, mostly long term kasi yung, ano, yung aking engagement with them. So, hourly rate talaga yung uh, charge ko sa client. Um, now, Siyempre, iba-iba tayo. Merong project rate. Merong iba na talagang per lead na gen, uh, generate uh, Per lead yung, yung um, kanilang ina-ask. So, uh, Lawrence, it, it's up to you and the client talaga to discuss. Kasi, I think with with, with the monthly rate, may kasama pa. Pwede, pwede siguro na may kasama pa ibang tasks. Not just lead generation. Mm -hmm. where, are, where are you trying to get clients from? Um... Usually Google search LinkedIn up work online jobs, hub staff. Lahat na yata ng websites pinupuntahan ko. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure if you you were here na earlier when I mentioned about um, the, the the job description. I think I was. I've been like here for fifteen minutes now. Okay. Alright. So I will just repeat Recorded the mampu bato. Sorry, yes, yes, it is. Yeah, I just wanted to repeat no. Um so the best clients to target for this type of role are the business development managers, business development directors, business owners, and you will find them sa LinkedIn. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I will. I will tell you more about it later on. Yes. Um, hi, Maya. I I just want to ask um, how to deal with the client if. You mentioned earlier that uh, sometimes we need to check first if it is easy task or you mahirap hanapin na ano mm -hmm. na lead generation. Uh, how bago natin siya bibigyan ng rate. So how do we deal that with the client? Okay, how you deal with that with the client? You have uh -huh. to send an email to them, or if you're talking via Skype, 
mm-hmm. um, you have to discuss with them. Is it all right if you give me one to two tasks to work on, and I will check. I'll just check the complexity of this requirement. Okay. You know, um, they will understand that, if, especially if they are in Australia, in in the US. I'm not sure in the US, mm-hmm. I know, because mostly Australian and clients, mm-hmm. when I provide day shift roles, so medyo mas pabor kasi sa Filipino mag day shift ngayon kasi mag night shift, even if it's home based. So um, yeah, so use this time. Let me check. Can can I check first the complexity of this requirement, and I'll get back to you with the code. Ah, okay. Running your Good. business, eh? Oh, you have to, you have to, parang be transparent with them. Okay, this, this for this type of of information that you need, it will take me five minutes for one contact person. So that's why, let's say kanina, this will depend on the hourly rate yung 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 kinakot nyo. So let's say um. My calculator. Ako. Sino magaling sa math dito? <laughs> okay, I will charge five dollars per hour. Gamit ako ng calculator. <laughs> also five dollars per hour. And then nagtry ka yung magsearch ng isang ng isang ng information na kailangan ng client. So, e eh, kailangan niya one hundred records. Let's just say one hundred. So, so sa five dollars we will have to divide it by six. Tama ba? Kasi 60 minutes in one hour? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. 60. <laughs> okay. So, so, in one minute, 0.083 ang charge nyo. So, sa isang record, it will take you 5 minutes. So, ita times 5 natin yun. So, per record, per lead, you can charge 42 cents. Merong iba. Yun yung per lead generated, ha? 42 cents. But, you know, I I have not done this. I always charge an hourly rate sa client, especially pag long term. Um, nasa sa inyo yun, if you're happy to charge per lead na na-generate nyo for the client. So, that's for, kailangan verified yan, ha? Kailangan um, nagamit, nagamitan nyo na na talaga ng verification tools. So, kasi the, cha- the, the client will get back to you na sabihin, oh, ba't nag-bounce tong email na nasend ko sa client. Yun. So, 42 times, let's say 42 cents times, say, 100 records, you can charge $42 per 100 records. Yun. You can do this on the side if you're doing a full-time job with uh, with another client and you still want to do lead generation. So this is extra income if you want to charge yung per lead nga na na-generate nyo. So if, talagang it's all up to you. So always check lang my Facebook page um, para ma-update kayo ng mga roles. It, 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 madali siyang ma-fill. Um, siguro pag isang posting ko lang, siguro wala pang wala pang five hours. Marami na nag apply and then may na-interview na ako. So, yun. And, and I hope to get more jobs like this kasi it's it's easy and then non-voice pa, which most of you prefer. Lalo na yung mga beginners. Okay, so meron pa bang may questions sa pay rates? Uh, I have a question. Okay. Um, since I'm a newbie, can you give us some examples of lead generation? How do you do that? Oh, yeah, we will get there. <laughs> we will oh, get there again, yes. Mm-mm. Okay. Meron pa ba? Uh, yes, Amaya, if uh, per hour, meron bang kota yan? Like, for example, sabi ni customer, um, ni client na you need to finish um, at least five per hour or okay. ten, something like that. Alright, so with regards to clients, may mga clients na experience na rin kumuha ng lead generation, no? So, minsan, may mga clients na, lalo na dito sa Australia, kasi that's why I am here, kasi in between them, I in between you and, and the client, I explain to them na ganito ang, ang talagang rate, and this is and um, this is just right for someone na nagre-research ng, uh, ng leads for you. So, um, usually for one hour, 
may 10, 10 leads kayo dapat na nakita na, na na-verified. Kaya nga may exercise tayo to test yourself how many leads can you find in, let's say, timingan nyo muna sarili nyo in, in 10 minutes, in 20 minutes. So you know how to, um, to charge the client. So yun. Uh, does it make sense? Yes. <laughs> no, no, oh, try nyo muna sa sarili nyo. Kasi speed matters here, but also accuracy. You have to be accurate din sa mga data na nakuha ninyo. Yun. May ibang clients kasi na marunong na, na talaga experience na rin kumuha ng BA. So, sabi nila, oh, ikukumpare ka nila sa previous na tao na nakaya nila. Let's say someone from, you know, from another country na yun, na go offer ng very low rate. Yun. Okay. So, can we proceed na to the next slide para makapag-exercise na yes. tayo? Okay. Hey, Miss yeah. Maya. Yes. So, hello po. Ano yes. Paano po ba na malalaman kung verified po yung leads na nakukuha po? Ah, okay. Yun nga, yung email verification na i-discuss ko next may email verification tools tayo na gagamitin. Ah, okay po. Free Salamat muna. po. Yes. Na-free muna. Okay. So, next na tayo. Wala nang may question about the rates. Wala na? Okay. Alright. Let's proceed. <laughs> and so, client in Canada, a client in Canada would like to find construction companies based in Canada and would like you to gather the following details. So, Company name, company address, ang gusto niya, website, telephone number, which is the office number, uh, and then contact person, preferably a decision maker. So when we say decision maker, um, they will be directors, chairman, CEO, um, owner, founder, yun yung mga decision makers. You can Google them, no? If you want to know more about the titles or positions ng decision maker. And then contact person, title, o yung position nila. And then um, gusto rin ng client na hanapin niyo yung email address, which is ito yung pinaka importante na gusto makuha from the from the potential client. Uh, and then contact person, uh, contact number, kung available. It can be a direct number sa office nila, or it can be a mobile number na nakita niyo sa internet. So, it's, it depends on the client. Sasabihin sa inyo, okay, I'm happy with the direct office number. Or, you meron namang client na, oh, you have to look for, I know, you have to look for the mobile number. Yun. So, let's do some exercise. Um, I'll be using at the moment a spreadsheet. Kasi dito, Dito naman nagsa-start lahat. Even, even CRMs or databases, so spreadsheet, spread, spreadsheet talaga yung kanilang backbone. Okay, so ano ang kailangan ni client? Um, so we have to do company name, and then the company address, and then company website. You can join with me para later on pag may sample ako na work. Uh, you can continue doing it. So open your spreadsheet or Google uh, Google spreadsheet and then try to do this as well. Sabay-sabay natin gagawin. So nasaan na ba ako? Company website and then company telephone number. Eh, merong ibang clients, no? With regards to company address, gusto nila hiwa-hiwalay pa yung street, state, um, what do you call this? Country. Pero may country, na, which is Canada. Uh, but for this exercise, let's just put it in one lang na as company address. Yan. Um, okay, so... Contact person... Title. And then contact person. 
email address. For those who have experience working this, meron pang you know, ibang clients na may kailangan ibang information. But what I am discussing right now, Ed, uh, you know, yung mga common na hihingi sa akin ng mga clients. Um, okay, contact person, email address, and then contact person. Contact number. Can you see my spreadsheet or no? Or yung ano lang? Yung, um, ang tawag dito? We can see Maya, we can see the spreadsheet. We we'll just see oh, the slide. Okay. Yeah. Right, sorry. Okay, so I'll share with you naman my spreadsheet. Nakikita niya ba? Yes po. Okay. Yes. Um, I don't know if I can zoom this or... Is it clear or maliit? Small. That, that's good enough. Okay. All right. Can you do this para pag nag-exercise tayo, alam nyo na yung flow. Then let me know if we can proceed na to the next step. Okay. Meron pang hindi tapos? You can also use um, your Google spreadsheet. I'm just using my Excel. But you can use spreadsheet. Any spreadsheet will do. Basta mailagay niyo yung company name, company address, company website. Ms. Maya, what is the next after contact person email address? Um, contact person address. Contact person. Contact number. number. Okay, thank you. So, okay, now let's proceed na to searching. Um, Alright, so, balik tayo dun sa tinatanong ng client. Um, he wants us to find companies, construction companies, right? So, can you see my Google or my browser? Yes. Alright, okay. So, um, let's just um, check companies in Canada. Construction companies in Canada. Construction, and So. Canada. So, gusto niya kasi makita yung construction companies in Canada. So, and lagi niyo gagamitin si Google. And then, Jan, makikita niyo na ako anima construction companies in Canada. So, si client wala naman siyang um, uh, in indicate na, okay, I just want small construction companies, basta construction company lang. So, this is just a sample task, okay? So, if he wants us to search for construction companies in Canada, we can use this information from the internet na nakuha natin. So, si PCL Construction, um, for example, isa siya sa mga uh, ilalagay natin sa spreadsheet. So, the first thing na ginagawa ko, this is my style, uh, this is my strategy. And then later on, if you find out some other strat strategies, that's good. But this is what I do. Um, so, PCL construction, what I do is I copy and then I open a new tab. So, expect nyo na na maraming tab na ma-open kapag kayo ay researcher. All right, so, um, ito, lumabas na yung PCL construction, and then he only wants to search um, companies who are, that are in Canada. Since si PCL, in international siya, pupunta lang tayo dun sa Canada na site nila. Okay. Pag maraming addresses, ay may nakalagay naman na headquarters, um, yun ang kukunin ninyo. But if you are in doubt, um, always ask your client which which um, office in Canada ang gusto nilang kunin. Kung maraming off. What if there are multiple offices? Uh, which which uh, office should be put into the database? Pag sinabi ni client na lahat, so lahat ng mga addresses na yan kukunin nyo. Pag sinabi ni client na uh, gusto ko lang yung headquarters, so, ito yung headquarters. So, ikakopy nyo yung address niya. 
which is nandiyan na. So, more on copy-pasting to. Okay? So, we will um, put first, punta ulit kayo sa spreadsheet nyo, put the company name. Hindi ko may share yung spreadsheet ko at ng moment. So, um, what I do is, ang gawin ninyo is you put the company name muna, PCL Construction, sa so spreadsheet, which is yung number one uh, company. And then, company address, you copy and paste it. Now, with regards sa country, may nakalagay na country. Um, kung ang client ninyo, sasabihin niya, oh, okay, don't include the country anymore kasi automatic na siya sa, sa, sa database nila na may um, country na Canada naka-assign. Dahil Canadian-based sila. It's okay not to put Canada or the country. Pero kung gusto ni client na, okay, write niyo Canada, lagay niyo Canada. Always ask the client. So, sa akin, ngayon, I'm not putting a country. Um, Nilagay ko lang yung address. Yun. And then, company website. Copy and paste nyo lang yung company website. Which is, if you can see my screen, ang kinakopy ko is yung pinaka-domain lang. Do not copy the whole um, URL na nakikita nyo sa screen because you are in their um, locations page. Ang kukunin nyo lang is yung pcl.com. Yun, yung kasama yung HTTPS, it's up to you, but yun lang kukunin nyo yung domain lang. Yun na ikakopy nyo. And then, you add it to the spreadsheet under the company website. So, I think, papakita ko lang yung spreadsheet ko. Um, let's say ito. Nandito na ako ngayon. So, this is my spreadsheet. So, meron na siyang company name, meron na siyang company address, meron na siyang company website. Alright. So, I'll go back to... So, let me go back to the uh, to the web page and then copy nyo yung telephone number and then put it under the telephone. Then, contact person title. Uh, sorry, hindi ko yata nalagay ng contact person name. Ayun, doon ako nagkamali. Insert na lang ako. Dito na tayo sa paghahanap ng contact person. Okay, so tapos na kayo sa company telephone number? Yes. Okay. So, let's yes. go na sa contact person name. Now, um, there are many ways you can search for the contact person name kung hindi nyo, hindi pa siya provided sa, na agad-agad sa web, sa, sa Google. Okay. One of the ways is to go to their um, About Us page. Hahanapin yung About Us. Or ito, uh, Meet the PCL Family. So, yan yung mga terms. About Us, Meet Our Team, About Our Team, or sometimes Our Team lang. So, doon yung hanapin. And then, um, if you go to Meet Our Team, ito, what, what's good about this website is um, talaga na-categorize na nila kung, kung sino yung mga uh, nasa executive. So, since nakalagay na executive profiles, we click on the executive profiles. So, ito yung mga decision makers ng, mga, ng company. So, meron chairman, my vice chairman, ganun. Um, sometimes, yung pinaka-head ng company, you know, hindi nakikita on the internet. Um, so, you can go to the next kung sino yung sumunod sa kanila, which is kung vice chairman. Pag hindi nyo naman nakita si vice chairman, so, syempre, bababa na tayo sa bandang CEO na. Yan. Or, basta mga directors. President, pwede din. Yan. So, let's start muna. Sample natin si Paul Douglas. Sometimes, okay, sometimes sa website ng isang company, when you hover their names, may lalabas na sa ilalim ng, at the bottom of your screen na minsan may email na dyan. Pag wala, you really have to search for the email address of that person. So, si Paul Douglas, pag sinerge ko siya, pag kinlik ko siya, 
ang lumalabas sa sa status bar ng ng browser which is na sa pinakailalim is yung another page lang about him it's not the email address so this is where things get complicated kapag hindi agad nakikita kasi tinatago nila yung email address and that's why the client needs you kasi they want you to search for the email address na busy kasi sila so ikaw yung maghahanap for them so si Paul Douglas wala talagang email address na nakita sa website so meron bang sa inyo may idea pa paano maghanap Although meron ako, I just wanted to know kung meron, mayroong may idea sa inyo. Meron ba? Kung paano maghanap ng email address? Try LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn? Okay. Pero pag hindi ka connected, you won't see his email address. Meron pa wow. ba? Meron pa ba? Just copy-paste the... Just copy the name and... Paste in Google and then search. Also, I think to put his contact info. I don't think so. Ano, pwede rin yun, basta, pero may, uh, th that's one way, pero merong, merong additional technique akong ibibigay. Alright, so, with regards to that, kung si Paul Douglas is wala, wala makita sa website nila, no? So, what I do is, to confirm muna, sometimes kasi websites are not updated. So, to confirm muna na siya nga talaga yung chairman ngayon. When I try to send emails to clients, no, iba nagbabounce kasi they already left the company. Either they moved to another company or talagang totally wala silang job ngayon and they're, not, no, they're no longer connected with the company. So, the best way or one of the ways para i-check nyo kung connected pa siya sa company is through LinkedIn. So, we go to LinkedIn. So, pag nagre-research kayo, always make sure na meron na kang naka-open na tabs na ganito, yung LinkedIn, and then yung browser. So, para mas madali sa inyo when you start working. So, si Paul Douglas, sa hanapin ko, which is na-search ko na siya kanina, tinry ko siya, and then, um, and then I'll put PCL. So, yan, luma lumabas na siya sa search. And then, I will just check sa profile niya, kung siya pa rin nga. So, at present siya pa rin. See? So, one, number one, verified niyo na na doon pa rin siya sa company, which is good. So, what's good now is we will copy his name or type his name sa spreadsheet. So, type niyo na ngayon. Ah, hindi ko muna isa-share yung spreadsheet. Basta type niyo na ngayon yung name niya or copy-paste niyo yung name niya doon sa spreadsheet. Uh, what's my spreadsheet? Ayan. So, ilagay nyo na siya under contact person name. And then, dito na tayo sa, ano ba yung sumunod? Contact person title. Um, chairman. So, itatype nyo chairman under contact person title. And then, contact person email address. Ito na. Ganap na tayo ng email address. So, so, is everyone ready? Nailagay nyo na yung details sa spreadsheet? Yes. Okay, alright. Sa kanya, you can connect with him. But while waiting for his acceptance, hindi natin alam po, i-accept kayo. Hindi. So, we try to search the internet. So, one of the ways to search is, um, number one, ito ang ginagawa ko, ano, um, Mag-open ako na isa pang browser, ah, ng isa pang tab. Okay, so what I do is, um, let's say, Paul, so yung sinabi kanina, may nagsuggest kanina na i-Google siya. Tama ba ako? Paul Douglas? Yun. But it's not just Paul Douglas. Ang gagawin natin is, Paul Douglas, kama, this is, uh, yung isang, isang strategy ko is email, and then PCL, dot com. Tingnan natin kung may makikita tayo. Yan. So, itong Rocket Reach, uh, this is one of the email uh, verification uh, tama ba ito? Email finder tool. Kaya lang, sometimes, if you click on this, hindi siya nagsishow kasi you're not a paid subscriber. 
Pero let's see if we can get a free one. Okay. So, view uh, Paul contacts info. It's free. Oh, meron din pala dito. Yun. You don't need to get yung mga hotmail. You have to get their business email address. Yun ang laging kailangan ng client. Yung business email. So, it should be at pcl.com. Yun. So, meron dito at pcl.com, which is good. Um, pwede natin kunin. Tingnan natin kung makukuha ko, ha? Kasi wala akong subscription sa Rocket Reach, but just take note of this. Um, okay, so kailangan ko pang mag-create ng account. Can you try on your end para makakuha kayo? Kasi what I do is I go to I go to hunter.io So, if you want to use Rocket Reach, that's fine. What I use is, what I do is, kinukuha ko yung domain nila. So, pcl.com. So, ito yung PCL na construction company. So, meron tong 443 results. And I'm using this free, ha? Yun, free lang ito. So, um, if you want to use Rocket Reach, it, it depends on you. Pwede nyo siyang gamitin uh, in addition to Hunter. So, when you find email address, when you click on find email addresses, lalabas dyan lahat ng mga um, email addresses ng mga contacts na naka-expose sa internet. Yun. And then, um, ang hinahanap natin, ang hinahanap natin is si Paul Douglas. The type lang natin siya, yung name niya, dun sa search bar. So, ayan na. So, email address ni Paul Douglas. I mean, so, i-hover mo lang siya and then, click mo lang, copied na siya, and then, you paste it doon sa spreadsheet nyo under the email address. So, I'll share my spreadsheet now. So, nakuha ko ang kanya email address. I will put it there. And then, contact number, contact person. Yan. Now, it depends on the client, no? Kapag talagang gusto niya may contact number, you will have to search for the contact number. So, did, did anyone try to access Rocket Reach? Okay, so this is Rocket Reach. So I just tried it now. Um, so meron ditong phone number, and which I can maybe copy, copy, and then put in there. Okay, so let me just remind you, no, merong ibang mga clients na happy na sila sa contact, uh, sa contact email address, and then uh, with the contact person number, since wala tayong idea kung o mobile man yan, or um, or a, an office number. So, you have to discuss it with the client kung talagang desk number yung nahanap nila or yung mobile number. So, since may number tayong nakita, we'll just put it there. Pero, meron kasing client na talagang importante sa kanila is email. Okay. So, with regards to the email address na nakita natin, Let's see if we can verify it. Now, not all verification tools are... Um, kasi I, I, I use mailtester.com. Eh. Okay. So, not all verification tools are effective when it comes to verifying email addresses kasi iba naka-block yung server nila and they don't allow email testers like this one to enter their server and check kung ano kung mag-verify email so um let's see kung kung mag-verify na so kailangan pa nito and then check address yun so it says here hindi daw uh, it does not exist on this server so malamang this one is not a um, 
an active email address ni Douglas. So, i-check natin ulit. I-check natin ulit kung ano yung mga formats ng ibang email address ng mga companies na yun. So, if mapapansin nyo, yung ibang addresses, walang mga dash. So, if, katulad nito, dcogger at pcl.com lang. Hindi siya, ano. So, let's see kung mag, magiging successful tayo if we just put P. Douglas. Hindi rin. Okay. Okay. So, for this for this case, kunyari talagang hindi na makita si Douglas, you will have to, number one, wait for his acceptance sa uh, LinkedIn para makita niyo yung email address, which I still do not guarantee kung makikita, pa, makikita rin natin kasi sometimes they hide, hide their email addresses. Or, number two, you write a note doon sa gilid, note na uh, um, email um, could not be verified. So, yan ang ilalagay niyang notes. Yan ang importante din sa client kasi baka sabihin nila hindi niyo mo naman talaga hinanap yung, yung client yung client email address. So, just put a note there that you could not verify it. So, if you could not find the contact details of Douglas and the client still would like to contact the the, the company kung sino may decision maker. Number two is yun nga, hanapin nyo naman kung sino yung next in line. So, si Ross Grieve or you look for Dave Philip Chuck or Philip Chuck. Yun. So, tingnan natin kung makikita natin si Dave, yung president. Or meron na ditong Vice President and General Manager, pwede na rin natin kunin to. But again, discuss with your client kung happy na sila with the Vice President and General Manager. Yun. But I think he will still accept it because it's one of the executive, um, uh, one of the executives dun sa company. Um, yes, Miss Maya. Yeah. Um, dun sa pinagtina natin kanina, ang ginamit natin is Hunter that I owe. Pwede rin ba natin kunin yung email address sa uh, Rocket? Rocket. Kasi may nakita ko iba kasi yung email address. Okay. Pero personal. Yeah, you have a very good uh, no, eye for detail. That's good. So, let's see. Um, PG Douglas at PCL.com. At PCL.com, yes. That's why I recommended now an interactive ito so we can learn from each other. So, let's see mm -hmm. no, kung ma-verify natin si PG Douglas. Oh, so it's very good. What's yeah, your name? It's fun. Um, Rada. Rada. Okay, Rada. Yun. So, um, ito, email address is valid. Kumakita niya at the bottom. So, you can use that as your, as the email address of that contact person. Yun. Kasi ako, I'm used to using Hunter. And then, um, you can use as many free um, tools online if you want. So, kanina, ngayon na ako nag-register sa Rocket Reach. So, yeah, you can use Rocket Reach. Hello, ma'am. Pero alam ko may limit ito. I don't know how many. Sa, ano, sa Hunter, I think it's 50. Sa Rocket Reach, I'm not sure. Meron pang ibang tools online na pwedeng gamitin. Just search for email, email verification tools. So we're trying to search for companies, right? For construction yes. companies in Australia. Yeah. So search, uh, no, no, in, in Canada. In Canada, sorry. Yeah. So this, 
this job is easy. Ang makakalaban nyo lang siguro dito is yung ibang mabibilis mag-search. So, their, um, their strategy is in-open na nila lahat ng tools that they can use online. Na yun nga, maraming tabs. And then, yun nga, uh, they have a very good strategy kung paano sila mapapabilis and then they put everything on, on, on the spreadsheet. So, practice pa rin ang kailangan. Parang typing test lang yan na pabilisan matapos. <laughs> Meron pa bang ibang nakagamit ito na ibang tools? Um, I'll check yung other tools na may nakita ko eh. Um, meron, meron din, um, meron din uh, um, lucia.co and then email permulation, email finder. Um, if you want to know more, siguro ang magandang isearch is email finder tools. Yun. Free. Yeah. And then, uh, for verification, yun nga, number one, male tester, merong never bound, e, i-check ko ito, i-detect, ah, tawag dito, i-copy and paste ko itong list sa chat chat natin so you can have a copy. So, so uh, let's say for, this a question, Ms. Maya, so... Let's say we're searching for the construction companies and the second one is like Ellis Don Corporation. With Ellis Don itself, um, nakakalista naman sa kanila na yung contact person but not the CEO. Just the decision maker would be fine, right? Yes, yeah. Just the contact. Okay. Yeah, oh, any director, um, director, let's say CEO, chairman, um, yeah, president, um, dito sa, sa Australia, we don't use president much. It's more on CEO, managing director, partner. Yun yung ginagamit itong terms. So, okay. yeah, when you work with a client, make sure na um, you are you have research on the terms na ginagamit din sa country na yun. So, for you to be advanced dito sa lead generation, try to also subscribe sa mga um, CRMs like um, HubSpot or send out and then ilagay nyo doon yung mga yung mga na source nyo. HubSpot is one of the popular um, CRM na ginagamit ng mga clients. Pero if you want to explore others, you can always Google yung mga CRM. Um, is my question in regards to searching for you know, it's a construction companies. Um, direct contact number or contact number on the office would work. Okay, there is a, a, a column there for a contact number mismo sa office. And there is a contact number that is a direct number that you can find online for a client. I search I, online yes. sa contact person. Yes, yeah, so um, it's either a direct number nila, extension number, or uh, a mobile number that is that you can find on the internet. After this, if you're a lead generation, and if you want to step up, you can be an appointment setter or you can be a telemarketer. You can mix this skill with with that type of um, with this type of job, kasi. Um, and then that's you know additional rate for you because uh, once you have gathered the leads, or you can offer to the client. Now, would you like me to set appointments for you for with with, with these clients or potential clients that I have listed? So that's one proposal that you can uh, you can offer to the client. So I can see HubSpot. Let's see if I can go directly to the dashboard. Okay, try to explore HubSpot. Not sure if um, you're okay with this. Um, baka may information overload kasi kayo kaya. I don't know if I should continue this or not. <laughs> but let me know if, if, if you want this to be in another session or not. But this one will just be a quick one. Okay, so this is HubSpot. 
Okay, and and most of the clients are using this as I mentioned earlier. And then um, what they do is, kunyari tapos na kayo maglist. They are a new company start up, and they wanted you to put all the data that you have um, uh, you have gathered uh, sa spreadsheet. Pwede niyo siyang uh, pwede niyo na siyang ilipat dito. So it's under contact, and then. So this is the interface ng um, ng HubSpot. Actually, most of the um, CRMs ganito may mga name, email, phone number. Um, if you will notice the sample, no, puro email lang in email, walang phone number. And because yun nga sa nasabi ko sa inyo kanina, and na mas importante ang email kesa sa phone number sa ibang clients. So ito either you import. Merong importing tools ang client, uh, ang, 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 sorry, ang HubSpot. So, you can import the spreadsheet dito. You can play around with it. Um, um, dito merong start and import, and then file from computer. So, yung Excel file na meron kayo, na ginagawa ngayon, you can import it here. And then, cancel ko muna siya ha. And then, after the importing, lalabas na sila lahat sa contact hindi nyo na siya isa-isahin um, sa paglalagay sa sa, 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 sa CRM. So, iba-ibang uh, fields ang makikita nyo sa iba't-ibang clients. So, for this one, this is just a sample ng HubSpot. So, if we open one file, tingnan natin si Brian Halligan. Since this is a, you know, so CEO siya, ganon, so, um, pwede nyo siyang i-edit kung meron pang kulang. And, uh, so, ito yung, ito yung interface ng isang contact record. So, play with it and then add it in your resume na meron kayong experience or knowledge about HubSpot. If you want to go advanced, um, wag lang kayo pumunta sa contacts. Try to go to marketing. Baka utusan na rin kayo later on na mag-email sa client. So, they can, you can use templates. Yan. But that's very advanced. Um, hindi pa siya sakop sa, sa training na to. It's more on lead generation muna.